All right, folks. I'm working on finishing up the space shuttle. Um, we got her painted. We got the decals on her, or decals, depending on your location in the world. And what I want to work on next is the tiles on the back of the space shuttle. Okay? To show you what I'm talking about, and I know the paint's a little rough around there, because remember, I'm experimenting right and left. But right below where it says discover, right along here, there's a grid of tiles. And I want those tile lines to stand out because on the real space shuttle they do. There's black borders around those tiles. Okay? So what I'm going to do to get that to stand out is I'm taking what's called a micron pen. Now. These Micron pens, they are what they call archival quality ink. It's a pigment really, not an ink. I don't remember exactly what they said about it, but um, it doesn't fade in sunlight. It doesn't go away easily. Good thing about it though is you can thin it with enamel thinner. So if I make a mistake while I'm putting this on there, all I have to do is get some enamel thinner and wipe it off. Okay. So I'll be back in a second. I'm going to reposition the camera and zoom in on this enough that we can see what it is I'm doing. So give me a second. Okay. I got the camera positioned. I've got my pen. I just tested my pen to make sure it's writing. Okay. And all I'm going to do, and these are engra engraved, so it's not hard to do, is I get my pen in the groove and it just follow the groove okay like that and I'm going to continue to do this until I get them all marked up and I just messed up a little bit that's okay I expected to do that didn't do that on purpose to be honest with all of you that really was a mistake now I'm going to get my thinner opened which of course is non-cooperative right now and I don't have the proper tool for opening this thinner in hand. So I'm improvising a little bit. And of course, it has to do all this on camera. Give me a second, I'll be back in a second when I get the thinner. Got it open. What I'm doing is I'm taking some of the thinner on a piece of paper towel. And you guys can't really see that on camera right now, but I've got it in hand. Now before I did this, I did give the model a good future coat. So anything's gonna be protected from uh, the thinner here and now you can see that I clean that up I'm gonna let that dry a little bit so I'm gonna work on the other side of the shuttle so I'm gonna turn her a little bit and get to work on that now damn it I slipped again now one thing about this is you can use this to accent panel lines and all sorts of other things on your models okay this isn't just for doing tiles on a space shuttle I actually have used this for other things okay and these pens come in many different sizes so you don't have to just use a really, really thin pen. You can get some really thick ones if you want. Now, that isn't looking real, real pretty to me, but you get the idea. What I'm gonna do is go over that real lightly here in a second with uh, my thinner and get some of the surface markings gone. I'll be back when I get this all done and show you the final results. Okay, you can see where I went over with the pen. The bad part is when I was wiping the excess off, it, ac uh, it accented some of my bad paint spots, okay? So the paint on the space shuttle is way rougher than I would like, but again, this model was somewhat experimental in nature. But, you know, let me zoom in. You guys get to see all my bad paint in all of its glory right here, okay? I zoomed in too much. My camera doesn't like focusing. There we go. But you can see that it did actuate those tiles very, very well. Also, something I noticed, there seems to be a mold line running right down the center of the tiles. 
and you can see there's an extra line right there in that tile and that's a mold line that's not me okay same thing on this side now I will admit my paint is not the best on this and I'm attributing some of that to the tape that's why I switched it to Mia tape I want to see what happens there won't know for a few days yet because the 747 is still drying that's why I'm working on the space shuttle but I think that came out really well I mean I couldn't have done that by masking there's no way could have done it with an oil wash but this looks just as good and it was just as easy I just used some enamel thinner again to get rid of the excess and you can see it came out pretty good so there you go that is using a micron pen to do some panel lines with now there are other panel lines on this model I don't think I'm gonna hit them with a micron pen because when I look at the space shuttle itself I don't see those panel lines but I'm gonna go check my reference photos if so I'll be back with an update to show you if not we're ready for weathering on this tomorrow and then once it's weathered, clear coated, and the space shuttle's done. Weathering's gonna be real simple. I'm gonna do an oil wash. But the oil wash, since it's oil paints, will take four or five days to dry. Well, we'll talk about that later. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, after I posted the video about how to polish up a canopy, a couple of suggestions came in that I should finish up with a coating of future. And boy, that made one heck of a difference. Let's move this over where there's some text so you guys can see this thing on top of some text and look you can see right through that windshield and you can see every single bit of text on it. I am a believer that future can clean up some things because she was a little fuzzy but that future just polished her up really nice. I mean it looks better than it did on the sprue. So, you know, if you go and polish your canopies, I would say future floor wax is a great final step. Because that thing is crystal clear now. Anyhow, wanted to share that video. Talk to you guys later.